it's winter time, which means that it's time to not cut the top of your crepe myrtles off because that's crepe murder. So I've made videos about this in the past and I could go on and on about the reasons why you should never cut the top off of a tree form crepe myrtle. And there are a bunch of different reasons why you should not. Just know that all plant professionals and experts about crepe myrtles are unanimous in saying this, do not cut the top of your crepe myrtle off. However, when I make these videos about not topping your crepe myrtles, some people interpret that as you shouldn't prune your crepe myrtles, which is incorrect. I will show you today how to properly prune your crepe myrtles. Essentially, there are four instances where you may want to prune a crepe myrtle. Number one would be if you had any basal sprouts coming out. So if you've got sprouts coming out of the base of the trunk or out of the roots, you would want to go in and clean those up if this is a tree form crepe myrtle, which this one is. This one doesn't have any, so we don't have to worry about that. Number two is we're going to address any branches that are growing inward towards the interior of this plant. So this is a triple trunk crepe myrtle, and we've got a branch here that instead of going outward away from the interior of the plant is actually growing inward. So we're going to take this branch off, and that's going to help clear out some crowding from the inside of this tree. Number three reason to trim crepe myrtles is if you have branches that are rubbing together. And this is kind of part of the same issue as number two, where branches grow inward. So we're going to go through and we're going to look and see if we have any branches that are crossing or touching each other, because eventually as those branches get bigger, they're going to be rubbing even more and they'll start digging through the bark of each other, or sometimes they'll even grow together and fuse together, which can cause other issues. Although these two branches are quite small, you can see that they're really close to each other and eventually these are going to be rubbing as the wind blows. And so I'm going to go ahead and take one of these off. Actually, I'll probably take both of them off because this one's growing to the interior. Now, the fourth reason is completely optional if you want to do this or not. But a lot of people will actually take these old seed heads off. And this can actually promote an earlier bloom in the spring if you come through and just cut the tips off of these little branches. This is different than topping the entire plant. So you don't have to do this by any means, but you may get blooms a couple of weeks earlier if you go through and knock off these old seeds that are on the tips of the branches. So please don't commit crepe murder to you crepe myrtles, but do practice proper pruning principles. That was some good alliteration. 